trustees. But back in Washington, the president calling out Congress for not yet passing the $100 billion border bill he proposed with money for Ukraine and Israel. Fox's Caroline Shively reports from Washington. As thousands of illegal immigrants surged toward America's southern border, more than 60 House Republicans headed to Eagle Pass, Texas. Today, we got a firsthand look at the damage and the chaos the border catastrophe is causing in all of our communities. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol tells Fox that more than 302,000 migrants were documented trying to cross into the U.S. from Mexico in December, the highest total for a single month ever recorded. How do we fix this? We deport people that are here illegally by the thousands, not by the dozens. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas says the increase is part of a global problem. We are seeing the greatest number of displaced people, not only at our southern border, not only in the Western Hemisphere, but across the globe. Congressional Democrats say the real work is back in D.C., where they're pushing President Biden's $100 billion bill with funding for the border plus the wars in Ukraine and Israel. It's very nice you go to the border, but the way to get something done is work, as we are in the Senate, on a bipartisan solution. To the border crisis. Meanwhile, the Biden administration has asked the Supreme Court to give the okay for border patrol agents to cut through razor wire placed by Texas officials along the border. On Thursday, federal officials are set to reopen four ports of entry that had been closed or severely limited because they didn't have enough officers to cover the recent surge. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News. All right, Congressman Adderhold sharing about his visit this afternoon, stating in part, quote, what is happening at our border today and every day since President Biden was sworn into office three years ago is outrageous and must be stopped, end quote. People were streaming across the border illegally as we watched, and there is no way to know who these people are or, are or what their intentions are. Our Border Patrol officers and our nation are at a breaking point, end quote.